I'm back and there's some stuff to talk about. Let's talk about it. You want to talk about it? I'll, we're gonna, I'm gonna do it. You can leave if you want. <laughs> Sorry, I was gone for a while, uh, almost a month now. I was doing a million different things, but we're back. We're back and we're getting back into the groove of things. Sorry, everybody, the six people that remembered me. Thank you, I appreciate it. But anyways, let's get right into the video. I just wanted to say that real quick. Yesterday, Did You Know Gaming uploaded a very cool video about Retro Studios working on a Zelda game, and apparently it was two Zelda games, Zelda projects, whatever you want to call them. There are video games, but some people call them projects. Anyways, uh, yeah, I only really, I watched the video and I only really heard them talk about one. Maybe I wasn't paying attention, I was doing stuff as well. But then people were like, there's actually two games and whatever, blah, blah, blah. Apparently, one of them, the main one that I saw was like an RPG styled Zelda a game where you play a sheik and it talks about the origins of the master sword it's you know you're learning about where the master sword came from the, the other one was kind of like a, a tactics style rpg game both rpgs and nintendo shut them both down if you want to go see the whole kit and caputo the whole shebang about them go check out did you know gaming's video very interesting stuff i would love to see uh more unique spins on the zelda franchise the zelda proper T. We obviously got Breath of the Wild, which is a, 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 a quite a bit different than your standard stereotypical Zelda, but it'd be fun to have an RPG Zelda and everything. Nintendo's really protective about Zelda. I feel like they let Retro make Metroid uh, Prime because they're like, well, I mean, we're, you know what, you can have this one. We're not, we're not really doing, we tried something with the 64, wasn't working. You take a crack at it, whatever. But uh, with Zelda, they, they like, we, we, we're the, we're only the, we're the only Zelda people. Okay, watch your mouth. And then we got the little Hyrule Warriors, which I I think the Warrior game, Warriors games are straight trash to me. It's just the literally, it's just a, it's just a palette swap, character swap from game to game. It's the exact same game. Uh, Persona 5 Strikers is uh, the only exception because it's got a super heavy change to the battle style, like well, a lot different than everyone with like the abilities and the personas and all that stuff. It's a lot different than just the hack and slash nonsense. It is still a bit of a hack and slash nonsense, but it's fun. Anyways, I'm digressing here. It'd be really cool to see uh, more spinoffs of the Zelda series, but we're probably not going to because Nintendo is going to keep that thing <laughs> close and secure. Don't even try it, Buster. Apparently they were laughed out of the room, basically. Like, this is what you brought us? <laughs> get the fuck out of here and get back to work on Danky Kang, you assholes. So, uh... Oh well. And here's something I thought was hilarious. A Wii U owner's son stuffs a bunch of Switch carts into the disk drive. What a fucking moron. Obviously, when I was a kid, I did some dumb shit too. But uh, I don't know what, if he thought the games were going to play in the Wii U, no one knows, I guess. They, apparently, it all worked out fine. The games were fine. The Wii U was fine. No problems. But uh, how old was this kid? Why was he shoving Switch games? You didn't show him, like, this is how you play these? And he's like... Fuck it, just cram them in there. I, I don't get what, when I was a kid, maybe I would have shoved them up my ass. I don't know, I did some dumb stuff with video games. I smashed an NES game thinking that there might be a chance that there was a toy inside. Obviously, uh, I don't know, you gotta be a fucking moron to think that. I don't know, I'm looking back now, but I'm like three years old with an NES game and a hammer. I'm like, Mario, are you in there? Because if you are, I'm about to rescue you. Uh, so I just thought this was funny. It reminded me of that. Just a quick little nonsense story about some some kid shoving shit in a Wii U. <laughs> there you go. And Konami has renewed its Suikoden trademark. Uh-oh, look out, Eden Chronicles 100 Heroes, even though that's clearly going to be the better game because Konami doesn't really give a shit at all. <laughs> they don't care. Um, but they did renew the trademark in Mexico. Of all places, in Mexico, they renewed the trademark. I don't know about it anywhere else, but that's what we're seeing here. Mexico. Last time we saw a Suikoden game was in 2006. I am looking forward to Euden Chronicles 100 Heroes, and I don't think this is... I don't know why. Maybe they did that because, like, oh, no, look, people like Suikoden. Look, the people that made Suikoden are going off to make their own game, and people are excited about it. And let's... Why don't we make one? And we're not going to know what we're doing because the people that work on Suikoden are over there now. <laughs> Oops, that seems like the kind of situation it is right now. I don't know. People are looking forward to Silent Hill. There's also talk of, like, Kawabunga collection we're gonna get into later uh, but yeah that's just a, a little bit of nonsense from Konami being stupid as they usually are and Mario Kart 2 are no longer gotcha from later this month plus battle mode coming I don't play cell phone fucking games because I'm a goddamn adult man but uh, no gotcha games in a Mario Kart uh, or cell phone game that's good right and anytime you can remove the gotcha elements and still keep the game intact. That is fantastic because gotcha elements are very predatory and scummy. Obviously, people want to get their favorite character, their favorite cart, whatever the case is. They have to keep pouring money in to get the random, randomized like loot system. Apparently, it was a pipe. You're like, Who, who'd you get? Oh, you got Mario again. Best you better give us five more dollars. 
Next time, you're gonna get Wario. I <laughs> swear to God, next time. Ah, sorry, you got Toad. Well, try again. And anytime that system is removed from a game where you can just completely buy what you want when you want it, that's good. Still, you're gonna be spending money on a fucking Mario Kart mobile game, which is eventually just going to be trash, which already is trash in my opinion, but God bless, you know what I mean? Um, but there you go. Now you can just buy your characters and carts and whatever you want straight direct with your, with your rubies. So there you go. Congratulations to all you... Mario Kart cell phone gamers. And Jeff Grubb's at it again. Jeff Grubb reiterates Metroid Prime Remaster still on for holiday 2022. Oh, Jeff, you bastard. I guess he's like, if I keep saying it, it's gonna be true eventually. This has been a rumor for a long time, Metroid Prime Remaster. I hope it's, I hope it's true, I want it to be true. There have been the Nintendo Switch September Direct rumors floating about for days now, for months now even. There's always rumors of a next Direct, but September, we've gotten one every September for the last, I don't know how many years, so it's like September's kinda Nintendo's thing. For Nintendo Direct, he also talks about how we're gonna get Wind Waker HD, Twilight Princess, Wii U ports. A lot of people have been talking about GameCube. We're gonna get GameCube support on the the Switch. Gonna get the Breath of the Wild 2 name. Blah blah. This is this this it's the it's the most jam packed Direct you've ever seen in your life. Apparently, according to all the rumors, if you combine them all together, it's going to blow your ass away. Uh, and any of this would be great. Any of this would be good. Obviously, we've had Wind Waker HD and Zelda Twilight Princess uh, ported to the Wii U, so I don't know why you wouldn't just port it to the Switch. Why hasn't it already been ported to the Switch? Like, I don't know. I've heard there's going to maybe be a combo pack or whatever the case is. Regardless, only time will tell. Hopefully, we do get a September Direct. I'm, I'm itching for some fun, awesome Nintendo news. I want to know what's coming. Nintendo's not telling me! I'd like to know. And back to Konami, never say never for the collection of Ninja Turtles games released in the 2000s. Who gives a shit? I saw this and I was like, who cares, right? We got the Cowabunga collection and apparently uh, the, the team of Konami was asked like, hey, will you, what about the 2000s Ninja, Tur Ninja Turtle games? Fuck! What about the 2000s Ninja Turtle games? What about that? What about those? Are you gonna give us those? I can't name one of them, all right? I know Platinum made a game uh, with Ninja Turtles and it was like, terrible dog shit like what you hate to see from platinum like so who platinum's got to make some great stuff some fantastic stuff but i dropped the ball there big time i don't know what are there good ninja turtle games from the 2000s like is there enough to warrant a whole nother collection like a sequel like here's the cowabunga collection here's cowabunga collection 2 i mean I'm, there's like a turtles in time remake that sucks I feel like every Turtles game from the 2000s sucks. I could be wrong. I don't know for sure. May I mean, I, you tell me. But we got all the necessary Turtles games. The absolute classics. The absolute bangers. In the Cowabunga collection. That's what we needed. That's what we wanted. Uh, do we... I don't... Who cares? Who cares about the 2000s? I could be wrong. Uh, but anyways, their response was, Never say never. We, we might. <laughs> if someone says never say never, uh, more than likely they mean no. All right, they're just trying to give you a little, a little glimmer of hope because they don't want to be, they don't want to be a downer. So never say never pretty much means no. We do not care because we know no one else does. All right, so there you go. If you're hoping for the 2000s turtle games to be in a Cowabunga collection too, you're a weird, weird person. Uh, but it's probably not happening. So, sorry. I am back. I'm sorry. I was gone for so long. All right. I was doing. I was in Florida for a little bit. I was all over the place. I was doing all kinds of stuff. Uh, but I am back, and I have streamed a, a good bit on Twitch the last uh, couple weeks, few weeks. I've just been too busy to make videos. It's like a, a lot more involved process than everything, and in the daytime doing a million things. So, you know, anyways, I'm back, and uh, here's the Beanie Boys. I don't know if we lost any Beanie Boys. I have to update the, the thing here. Maybe we gained some Beanie Boys somehow by a miracle of God. Uh, but I do love my Beanie Boys. I give you a kiss, <laughs> my boys. Uh, anyways, I will be live on Twitch after this video is uploaded, so come hang out there. And I am back to making regular content. Uh, so whenever something cool or whatever to talk about happens or I want to make a video about something weird, really, I got a funny John Hancock video in mind. Anyways, wherever the case is, we're back, all right? I'm not going to be gone for a fucking month again. Sorry about that. May I can't say for sure down the line, but for the foreseeable future, we are back uh, consistently uploading weekly here. Uh, at least, uh, least once or twice, maybe hopefully three times a week. I would love that. But uh, anyways, thank you, uh, thank you guys for uh, supporting me by liking, commenting, subscribing, any of that stuff. I really do greatly appreciate it. Love my boys, like I said, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Ah.